Hey everyone, welcome to a garden week in my life. I was planning on starting this earlier, but I didn't think I was going to go to Atwoods. They posted on their Facebook page that they had a bunch of plants out, so of course I had to go. I am somewhat in a no-buy. I'm mainly keeping that to seeds. I do want to get some plants. I'm fairly confident in my seed starting skills, but you just never know. So I did go in and pick up some kale, a couple lettuces, and I, I said I wasn't gonna get any tomatoes and peppers, but I did get a tomato. There were two plants in the container, and the plants themselves were four, they were 99 cents each. So I got four, four plants, 99 cents each. So for less than $4, I got uh, a heck of ton of kale, heck of ton of lettuce, and I got two tomato plants. So I thought that was a good deal. And the tomato I did get was Big Rainbow. I've been wanting to try it, but I don't have any seeds for it. So I was really excited that I found uh, a, a plant growing two plants for the price of one. So I did get those and while I was here at Atwoods, I did pick up some seed potatoes. The kind I got was Yukon Gold. So we are starting our Monday off on a super nice note. Just a note though, the tomatoes are not going out now. It is February 26th, I believe. So there's no way these tomatoes going out. I might need to up pot it here in a bit, but for now it will stay inside under the grow lights just growing and doing its thing until I'm not quite sure when but we are still six weeks from our last average frost so I am not going to get ahead of myself it's going to stay indoors and we will go from there I think that's it for today so I'll see you tomorrow hello so it is the next day and I am heading into the garden to see what is going on and you guys don't get to go in you're being little troublemakers <laughs> these guys I don't plan on spending too much time out here. It is a beautiful evening. My car said it was 79 degrees driving home. So that's pretty nice for the end of February. But I did wanna show you guys how the garlic is looking. As you can tell, it is growing pretty well. This is all garlic and then these are just some bulb onions that I picked up from. Home Depot, so I think I'm just gonna take a few seconds to weed some of this just to make sure the garlic has no competition. Babies are jealous that they can't come in at the moment. <laughs> this is the overall state of the garden. Not looking too terrible. I will eventually clean out this square and this square because currently the sun ends about here and all this gets sun. Here is a little mini perennial garden that I did last fall. And then here's just, of course, some container peppers that aren't doing so well because obviously it's been cold. <laughs> I did, however, plop these mints in here. I actually forgot I did this yesterday, so let me take these guys out. I started growing this mint in 2022. It died. It came back last year. This one is from last year. It also died. I'm thinking it'll probably come back. But we'll see. Time will tell. I do have two bags of compost that I will top those two beds with. And then I think I'm going to rearrange some of these arches. Go. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these two beds yet. I'm thinking maybe one will be for some squash. Since squash is kind of a sprawler. It's just gonna go wherever, so it might be nice to have it in some kind of container. And then over here, you can tell that the strawberries are starting to get their little 
spring green growth. I might sometime this week come through and clear out all that. Well, my camera died, so I am back out here now. Sometime this week, come out and clear out some of this old debris with my strawberries. It looks like I have a parsnip growing here. And then maybe one there and one there. Those seem to be doing okay. Weed I'm gonna grab just real quick while I'm out here. I don't see any blossoms yet on our blackberry bush, but I do need to do some trimming up on it. Pretty massive cold front coming in. It is really windy and kind of Hazy. There are wildfires to our west. So far, we seem okay. While the weather's nice, I think I'm going to go ahead and clean up just a little bit of this. I'm going to go grab some of these poles for a quick cleanup. Okay, just a quick cleanup. Definitely not perfect, but so much better. I'm gonna go put these tools on my potting shelf, and I think that'll be it for today. Okay, so it is now the next evening. This day was actually super rainy and wet and cold so I decided to spend some of this evening cleaning up my lights getting everything ready for growing my seeds so here you can see me just sort of cleaning up the space getting everything organized and getting the shelves all clean because obviously they haven't been used in gosh a year no I used them in fall gardening but a pretty long time so because of that I thought it was a great time to go ahead and get my seed starting setup ready to go just do um, kind of like what I had the problem before was that I had one middle bar, and so all the plants were leaning this way towards the light, and these plants were leaning this way towards, so everything leaned you know, to the center. Okay. Okay. 
what I was kind of thinking. So you might have just heard me talking about the issue that I had last year with my seeds and that was because I had two lights in the middle and the seeds would lean towards the light from both directions. So for Christmas, I did ask for another set of six lights. So here I am setting them up. This way I have two in the back, two in the front, and everything gets its own upright light. I did go ahead and use some tape to glue some magnets and that way the lights are kind of adjustable so the tape is not just set in one position. So here you can see me gluing the magnets on and readjusting them to where I wanted them to be on the shelf. went ahead and did this for the top, middle, and bottom shelf. So since I showed you the middle shelf, I won't bore you with the top or the bottom, but that is what I spent this evening doing. Mm -hmm. 